Okay, so the last thing I want to do, uh, I mean obviously there's quite a lot more you could do, uh, certainly you could adjust the lighting and fiddle with that, uh, not that it's going to have a huge effect with this fog, but uh, it's the last thing we kind of want to do, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a professional sheen, uh, so if we go to our package manager again, and wait until it populates, till tomorrow, so I want to install the new post processing, which uh, selection of effects and uh, effects and image filters. So uh, we just drop this onto a camera. Um, so I will just wait until that installs. Okay, so this is quite complicated. So this is the final step. Uh, I forgot how complicated this was. Actually, I've just had to watch a tutorial on it. Uh, so Basically, you've got your main camera, so we want to um, add a post processing. So, we want to add a post processing layer to the camera. So, it's not finding a layer as yet, uh, no layer has been set. So, uh, the next thing we want to do is um, we want to create a empty actually we probably don't we probably want to make it a volume so uh, we want to create a cube uh, let's just make that gigantoid let's see why in a minute uh, so we want to make this into a post processing volume um, So let's become a post-processing volume now. I just added it as a component down here, <coughs> which has turned it to green. Uh, and we want to make it global. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and we want to make it on the post-processing layer. So if you go up to layers here, apologies for getting complicated here. Uh, we want to make a post-processing. Okay, uh, so if we go back to, uh, let's go back over here, so select me post processing layer, so we want to make this uh, post processing, and then we want to go back to the camera, and then we want to make the layer post processing, uh, and then we want to make a new post processing profile uh, and then this is starting to give us the option of effects so uh, we can have a look at some of these we definitely want to have a bit of grain going on um, <coughs> so we've got grey in here, so that gives you then opens up all these uh, options. Uh, so let me just have a look at how we get this to actually work. So oddly, that is actually working. Um, I don't not entirely sure whether the fact that it's uh, The fact that it's a post processing volume, whether or not, um, whether, because the fact it's global, uh, it means I don't actually need this as kind of a box which contains the post processing effect. But anyway, so this is the weird bit down here is that, um, so it, you, these things look like you can't actually select them, but you can, as you can see now. So I'm adding a little bit of grain, like horror films. Uh, size there we are a bit of 1970s silent hill grain luminous contribution no idea what that means better leave it alone uh, so let's have a look at don't really want bloom uh, motion blur no vignette is okay um, color grading let's have a go at this so it comes to this. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, I'll, we'll continue fiddling with this, but as you can see, we've g now got a Silent Hill type game. Thanks for wooching.